Hi everybody, English Bob here. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is entitled Windows Killer. It always makes me laugh how all the Windows fanboys love to stick the middle finger right up in the air at all his Linux users when it comes to gaming. Ah, you know, your Linux is shit for gaming. You can't run AAA gaming titles. You've got to fuck around with Proton. You've got to piss around with wine. You've got to arse around with Lutris. You've got to get this to work, get that to work. Nah. And then sometimes it's hit and miss. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. All valid comments if you're going to do Windows gaming on the Linux operating system. The old school way. But hey, it doesn't have to be like that anymore for there's a wonderful solution available for all Linux users which makes so much sense and has so many benefits right out the box both in terms of cost in terms of being able to run it on a real old banger of a PC and still enjoy full 1080p gaming in 60 frames a second yes you heard me right so what is that solution? Very simple, it's GeForce Now. All you need is a Google Chrome web browser on your Linux of choice. Create yourself an account. It's up to you whether you choose to subscribe every month for even more features and benefits. Personally, I have, and I know more and more people who are leaning on GeForce Now, whether they're using Linux, whether they're using Mac, as a, a window and a way to do AAA gaming with absolutely zero hassle whatsoever. Um, I've got my Epic Games account and my Steam account currently connected, and it's that simple. You then simply select the game that you want to play, load it up, and away you go. How fucking simple and easy is that no graphics card required, no large installs, no huge downloads, no buying massive SSDs to store all this shit on. Leave all that to the NVIDIA gaming servers. Not only that, your tiny little cheap 2-bob PC, which costs absolutely fuck all in electricity to run every day, well, good luck with that, you £5,000 gaming rig Windows fanboys. And for the other supposedly um, tech-savvy Windows fanboys in there who love to beat the shit out of Linux on a regular basis with the comment, well, you know, people just don't do that. Really? Well, more and more people are doing it because not only is it available for Linux, of course it's available for Windows, it's available for Mac, and it could be a wonderful solution to your woes and your situation it might not be because not all games on the planet are available but there's a hell of a lot and it's growing day by day of course you still have to own the game in order to be able to access it on geforce now but you'd have to own the game anyway if you wanted to run it locally so that's not really a big issue is it it is very dependent on your internet connection quality, though, to be fair. So let me load up World of Tanks. Now, this is on a PC with no graphics card running Linux. I've not had to do any install, any updates. I've not had to sit here for hours waiting for stuff to come down and configure. I can just load my beautiful Google Chrome up or any other web browser that supports it for that matter. Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, whatever you want to run. Um, and it's, it's just absolutely amazing. Now, World of Tanks is a huge game to download. It's massive. So our gaming rig is ready. Let's click Go. It's connecting to my Steam account. And it's now going to run World of Tanks. Enjoy, everybody. I'm not going to spend the whole of this video playing games. It's just not necessary. Let's click on Play. And let's let the game load in. We're now relying 100% on the NVIDIA servers with their graphics cards, with their grunt, with their power sapping capabilities. And all we're doing is having a window into that server. Kind of takes me back to the days of dumb terminals and thin clients. 
But for people who are prepared to think outside the box and indeed use the tools that are available to them, rather than bitch, whine and gripe that you can't do this, you can't do that, this is shit, that shit, well, why don't we get our heads together and find a way of doing it? Now, GeForce Now is not the only option. There are other options out there for all you Linux users. But of course, you're getting benefits above and beyond any Windows gamer by doing it this way. And here we are, 1080p, 60 frames a second. No external graphics card, no large purchase of a huge storage capacity SSD, no downloads, no hassle, just log in, play, you're done. How easy is that? So actually, Microsoft Windows in 2023, for Linux users, you can fuck right off with pleasure. Because do you know what? I've got full 1080p gaming on my beautiful PC Linux OS, and it's almost indistinguishable from running the game locally how fucking cool is that and i just have to sit here so many times and laugh my tits off at all these so-called experts and you know tech tech noies normies wannabes uh linux is shit because you can't do your gaming well all of you you can fuck right off and those that say oh nobody's ever going to do this you'd be shocked daily day by day there is a growing following for apps like GeForce Now because it just allows normies and users to do what they want to do, which is play the games. So in 2023, my friends, if you're running Linux, ignore all the, the tech experts and the Windows fanboys that tells you gaming on Linux in 2023 is shite. Take your middle finger, send it vertical and ram it right up the Windows fanboys' arses. Because this really is a genuine solution for Windows Gaming in 2023 on your beloved Linux. No matter which flavour of Linux you, you use or run, it doesn't matter. All you need to be able to run is Google Chrome and have a half-decent internet connection. You can then connect all your accounts up. How many games do you want to choice off? Now, not every single game on the planet is available. That's very true. So, providing your games are supported, you'll be in seventh heaven. If your game's not supported, well, then you're going to have to look at other options, which I'm going to explore in later videos. So, there you go, my little Windows fanboys. Take my middle finger, ram it right up your asses, and fuck right off with pleasure. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked English Bob video.